How are we doing guys? All East TV, Leeds 1, Birmingham 2. It's a game of two halves to be honest with you. We were much, much better in the second half, but the first half we just weren't up to standards to be quite frank. We've been utterly exceptional up to this point, but you have to maintain them standards as simple as we did not in that first half. The first half was appalling to be honest with you. It was absolutely atrocious the first half. You know, it's not so much the goals we can see, it's the way we started the game. Trying all the fancy flicks and that, like a nil-nil, you know, I don't want to use the word arrogance, but it felt like there was a bit of arrogance about the team today. You know, we start the game trying all these fancy flicks and that lot, not getting the ball down and just playing our usual, you know, usual game at the high press, the high energy. It just wasn't, it was a bit non-existent. And then the goal happens. The goal's a bit of a blur, really, really. I can't fully describe it, but it's a shot from distance. And Bailey Peacock Fell's committed to his left and he can't quite back, get back over onto his right hand side. And it probably is a poor piece of keeping off Bailey Peacock Farrell, I might have been harsh there, I didn't seem to get a deflection, if it's got a deflection I'm being harsh on him there, I've done him a disservice but I think probably should be doing better there. The second goal, it's a good strike really, it's a good finish, it's a, it's a good goal to be honest with you that second goal but we just, the only thing we really created all day was the goal really, we didn't, everything else was from distance or from hopeful, hopeful crosses and all that lot, we just didn't create enough today at all and to go on to the first half, it's just seemed off the pace seemed tired to an extent and we've, I think we really felt the injuries today you know with Pablo Hernandez Kamal Roof and Gaston Barardi out but can't get too carried away the second half was much better we tried to really fight back and uh, I don't want to talk about the ref too much today because at the end of the day we have to take responsibility for the defeat ourselves we were we were out fourth on the day but the ref hasn't really helped things there's a couple of instances it's not so much the poor decision making it's the certain things you know um I think we're two on down, there's a minute to go. We're trying to get a quick, you know, play the ball quickly. And the ref just stopped the game to make a quick note in his book. You're thinking, come on, there's got to be common sense there. There's a challenge off Adam Forshaw later on in the game where he's won the ball. And I think common sense, it probably is a little bit aggressive. But at that stage of the game, I think common sense should prevail there. I was frustrated with the ref today, but I was more frustrated with our performance today. You look at individuals, I think on the ball getting the ball out the back we didn't do it quick enough it was a bit like Preston but this time we didn't break the press down which was too slow not enough tempo to our passing the midfields never really had control of the game the goal we score is a good goal up front and in terms of man of the match today it's a tough one I say Pontus, Pontus Janssen had a good game I don't really think he did too much wrong Tyler Roberts I think link up play wise I think he did well just needs to get into that box a little bit more just needs to find that clever little run in between the defender like he did against, like he did against Preston if I go man the match I'd probably go Pontus I don't think he did too much wrong today I think he held the defence together at times because on the counter attack Birmingham had a lot of opportunities but he snuffed out every single one it's a frustrating performance today we can't get too downhearted it's um, but it's one of those things you know on to Sheffield Wednesday now nice and quick you know six games in six days time needs to recover it's that's the main thing and it's a wake up call at the end of the day Bielsa's probably going to beast them this week it's probably going to be two or three training sessions a day because he wasn't accepting that you know I knew I said to the guy I was watching the game with I knew Calvin Phillips or someone was going to come off before half time not necessarily Calvin Phillips sorry but I just felt there was going to be a change for half time like against Swansea he wasn't happy with that today. I don't think any of us were. But we can't get too carried away. It's one poor performance on Sheffield Wednesday. We march on. All East TV, thanks so much for watching. And just a quick one as well. We've been doing a bit of work with TFR, documentary on Marcelo Bielsa. Make sure you check that out. Me, Connor and Joe all make an appearance on that video. Make sure you check it out. All East TV, thanks so much for watching. See you later.